Labor and the Greens have again butted heads this week. Some saying the relationship between the two parties is as strained as it has ever been. Joining me live is former Labor Party strategist Bruce Hawker. Bruce, good morning. This has been pretty nasty. It's been a tough week all around, hasn't it, Tim? Uh, they've been getting stuck into one another. The Greens have done a number of things which I think have been very provocative. Uh, I think first and foremost... Uh, one of their members standing up on a platform with the CFMEU where members of the, uh, of the crowd had banners saying that, uh, that uh, Albanese was a Nazi. I mean, these are you know, very provocative things to do. Um, Bant's come out with his so-called Robin Hood uh, tax mm. reform package, which I don't think is going to go anywhere because he doesn't have any power. So, you know, these things are happening. And, of course, Gaza still is a, uh, a big issue of contention, even though the difference in policy positions between the Greens and Labor on Gaza is, is infinitesimal. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. That's, a, that's one, of, one of the issues. On a brighter note, the monthly inflation number out this week, it's mm. giving those... And, and let's face it, lots of people are really struggling with their mortgages at the moment yep. because of the interest rates and it all blew up when, you know, we were getting forecasts that nothing was going to move until 2024. Mm. That's all history now, but it's going to have to start soon. It's happening overseas. Mm. Well, it's happening in the United States right now mm. uh, and they will set the tone. Uh, we saw uh, inflation levels at the lowest since March uh, in Australia this week, which is very good news, but... Really importantly, the banks are already starting to drop interest rates on some of their mortgage uh, schemes and on uh, long-term deposits. So the banks are already getting in there now and, and doing what the RBA isn't doing yet, and that's dropping interest rates. They're seeing the change coming. And that's good for consumers, and uh, that's pretty good for the Labor government too because interest rates do have to start coming down for Labor to be in a more comfortable position going into the next election. Yeah, the PM's been at the Pacific Leaders Forum. Climate change is a big issue among Pacific leaders. Absolutely. How is this issue being seen in Australia ahead of this next election, which isn't all that far away early next year? Well, uh, it, Peter Dutton has used nuclear, I guess, as a, a way of trying to put us the Labor government into a difficult position around renewables because Dutton is under pressure from the National Party's uh, members to make sure that we don't go down a renewable path if uh, Dutton is elected as mm. Prime Minister. So he's come up with a nuclear uh, solution. So, yes, it's still going to play out in this election as it has in previous elections. The uh, climate wars are still going on and Dutton's very, uh, I think, uh, strongly associated with that uh, anti renewable stance that's been taken by some Conservatives. Yeah, he's certainly grown in the role. He, he really has improved, Peter Dutton. It's, um, he, he's, it, a, he's, a, he's a credible challenger now. Well, he's building up a, a base uh, amongst people in, in, in country, regional areas, and mm. in some parts of the city as well, who are going to be a, a attracted to some of his policies around, say, climate, around immigration, uh, around nuclear and so forth. Whether it's enough to actually start pulling votes in the cities, it's another question, particularly when you get to those seven or eight teal seats, which really are not going to be attracted to any of the policies that he's been putting in that space. It's got to be quick because we're running out of time, but yeah. US election, it's so tight. We've seen the first interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, and it was pretty good from her perspective. She had... Uh, uh, Tim Waltz sitting with her there. He's sort of the steady uh, small-town America football coach type guy. Uh, and I think that's gone down well for her. Um, meanwhile, you know, Trump is still refusing to back down. He's done some very offensive things on his own... Uh, on, on his own platform. He's reposted some pretty offensive things. One really uh, nasty thing about... Uh, Harris we're making reference to fellatio in the uh, in the post that he he reposted. So, you know that's pretty tough stuff uh, coming from him. It's not going to go down very well with women. It's going to uh, continue to create this divide in the American mm. uh, community between men and women, young and old, and so forth. Oh, the divide is unbelievable. It really mm. is extraordinary. And uh, we've got two months before the election, so a lot's going to play out before then. Good to see you, Bruce. You too, Tim.